Hey, it's Alana from Bright Gauge. Today we'll be taking a look at our member efficiency gauge. And just a quick note, this is available on our higher tier plans as we are using calculated metrics for this gauge as well as data source mashup. So today we'll be looking at how we measure and calculate utilization, how the entire gauge is built, some alternative calculations, for example, percent billable utilization, We'll look at some design tricks, and most importantly, we'll go over the quickest way to clean up the gauges by using dashboard filters to include or exclude certain members from the view. As you can see, there's a long list of members here. You'll probably want to end up excluding a few of them. So let's dive right into the gauge. All right, as you can see, there's a lot going on in this gauge. You can see there are seven layers up top, and each of these layers are represented by the columns within the gauge itself. Okay, so the first layer or column we're looking at is currently open tickets by member. The second column is going to be resolved this week, again by member. And just a quick note, as you're going through these layers, it's really important to note what field you're using in the dimension, and you'll see this later when we go to actually filter on the dashboard level, okay? And you always refer to the data sets that you're using here as well for the layers. All right, so the third layer here is hours this week. The next layer is billable hours this week. The next is tickets touch this week. The sixth layer is hidden, and this is actually the daily capacity that's set up in your ConnectWise Manage under the member data. So basically we're taking that daily capacity figure, multiplying it by five so we have a correct count for the week. And then our final layer here is a calculated metric where we're taking the hours worked this week and dividing it by that daily capacity times five. So you can see the percent utilization here. Now, there are lots of different ways to measure utilization and the hours that your team are putting in. Uh, some folks care about their billable hours as opposed to just the actual hours. So just wanted to quickly show you how to add in another layer to calculate the billable percentage. So we already have the billable hours listed here. So all we need to do is set up another layer. So I'm just gonna add another layer, calculated metric, and maybe I wanna look at the number of billable hours this week divided by the actual hours or all the hours that they worked, right? This is gonna give me a new column here. I can turn this and I can say, percent billable, turn this to a percentage, add two decimals, and there you have it, okay? Now, why is utilization so important? Well, it measures how productively your employees are using their hours, and it helps you identify if you could be operating more efficiently or if you need to cut or add resources. So when I'm working with the gauge like this, I typically like to add in color thresholds to really highlight those individuals that are meeting their targets. So let's say you expect your technicians to be at 80% utilization. What we can do is go over to the design tab. We can go to colors and thresholds, look at percent utilized this week. And let's say I wanna highlight those that are greater than or equal to 80% for the week I want to highlight their cell in green. Okay, so now when I hit apply, uh, no one's actually showed up yet. We're in the middle of the week. So as the week progresses and your technicians do hit that 80, you'll start to see those green squares fill in. All right, so now I'm going to save this gauge so we can go filter it and clean it up a little bit. So I'm just going to go back to the data tab. I'm going to save and I'm just going to update the current copy that I have and save. So I'm just gonna head right over here to add a filter. Okay, so I'm just gonna name this here, tech team. And now you have four data sets, so we need the appropriate field in all four. So this is where I mentioned in the gauge builder to pay attention to what field you're using in the dimension because some of them do vary across data sets. So starting with ticket statistics, I know this one is going to be resolved by, okay? And the next ones are going to be member ID. So I'm just going to quickly scroll through, member ID, 
assigned resources, I'm going to look for member ID, and one more member data is member ID. Okay, so now you can select the value drop down menu. I'm just going to select those technicians that I want to see here. So I'm just going to select a few of these. All right, so those are all my technicians. Now I can save changes and see how it cleans up this list. So now I can just resize this a little bit. And again, this column is the one we set the threshold on. So as the week progresses, you should start seeing some green squares pop up. All right, so if you have any questions about this gauge or need help with the cleanup, um, feel free to reach out to success at brightgauge.com.